Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the finale episode, so this is going to be my review for episode 19. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the Supergirl finale is here. We're not going to get the next season till about a year, maybe just a bit under a year. But don't worry, guys. The Supergirl videos are going nowhere. I'm going to continue making Supergirl videos over the whole next year. And don't worry, because we will see Supergirl footage around probably November time. So, you know, just a bit past when the shows would normally return. That's when we would start getting new stuff, where you would have episode 1, episode 2, episode 3. Instead, you're going to see them filming, and we're going to be making videos about that. But in the meantime, continue making Supergirl videos. Also, we're going to be covering Superman and Lois this year. So that's going to be around maybe as a little bit of a replacement whenever there is not that much Supergirl theories or news to talk about whilst we're over this long break. But that's not to say the Supergirl videos are going anywhere because they are not. And just stick around with me, stick around with the channel until we get to Supergirl next year. And yes, so I'm really excited to talk about the finale today because this was definitely better than The Flash. I haven't watched Batwoman yet, so I can't compare it to that. However, I would say this is a pretty damn good finale. I really enjoyed it, thought it was a good episode. I don't think it's the best finale ever, but I thought it was a very good one. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this. So basically, this episode was episode 19, but it was also a mix of episode 19 and 20, and I have to commend them on this because it felt like a proper rounded episode. It felt like a finale and they didn't have any issues with combining that footage. It really just felt like a normal finale episode, so I have to commend them on that. David did a great job directing this episode. David Howard, who plays Sean, he directed episode 19. Obviously, there's some footage from 20, which he didn't direct, but he is credited as the director, because I believe most of the footage is actually from 19, and then they've cut in the most important parts about 20, because I think it was sort of like a two-part finale was going to be, like a sort of big ramp up in the second to last episode, which would be 19, and then 20 would be the big final fight and explosion and what happens with Lex, and Lex was going to be defeated in the finale, so there's a few things that have been changed. There was that scene that they shot on a park bench where some of the cast was there, they looked up into the air, so apparently that would have been like the sort of new villain for the next season that would have been teased. However, it doesn't matter because I thought they ended the episode really, really well, and I'm really looking forward to next season. Okay, so how we start off the episode, we have Lex, he gets onto the Leviathan ship, and he is shocked at first, literally shocked, like electrocuted, or whatever it was, it's some sort of like protocol against other people who are not part of Leviathan if they get onto the ship. So that was set up and that was a thing that Brainy had to overcome later in the episode, which we'll get to in a minute. But then they do this kind of Green Lantern thing where three of the Leviathan members, including Rama Khan, put their hands towards this kryptonite and they are able to basically take that energy and absorb it within them. It was just a really cool scene. Then we cut to Lex's eyes and his eyes are glowing green. He's smiling. Everything is going according to plan. So then we move on. We've got Alex and her new suit. This was one of the funniest bits in the episode. Kara's reaction was priceless. This was at a point where you had the fake Supergirls. You had Jean and Megan as Supergirl. I thought Melissa did a great job in this episode. She was really the center of this episode. So then you get that reaction from Kara and it was absolutely priceless. I love it. And so Alex's new suit is very cool. I'm not so sure about the makeup. I think it's a bit Mm, I don't know, it's a bit iffy. I think maybe they could put a mask on her, it would have been a bit cooler. We'll have to wait and see, I reckon they might change it a bit over the break or something like that. But the makeup, I mean, was pretty cool. I really like the colours, especially on the makeup. But I don't know if it was a bit kind of goofy compared to some of the other masks. Like, you know, give her a Neo mask or something like that. But apart from that, the suit was awesome, man. It was so cool. The blue and the black worked so well. So it's very exciting to see Alex get this new suit. Obviously, she had that suit before, but it kind of wasn't a suit. It was more like a uniform for the DEO. And so it's really nice to see her get some color to wear something different. And I really, really dig this suit. And I'm hoping she gets a mask. Okay, so Lena is there with the team. And Kara texted Alex in 911. So they all come in. Alex pulls out her gun, sees Lena, and she's like, 
is this the 911 basically but no Lena is working with them now so there's a bit of conflict there but then we go back to that conflict in just a bit so we have all this green lightning coursing through the atmosphere coursing through the air due to you know the kryptonite that they absorbed towards the start of the episode and that's the three Leviathan members so you have Rama Khan and these two other people I didn't catch their names but they're new members and these uh, different element benders that we haven't seen before. I thought that stuff was really cool. It really looked like Avatar The Last Airbender, but like in real life. So I'm really digging the way that they use the CGI in this episode. It was very, very good. And so, I mean, the question towards the end of the episode and throughout the episode is, who is in charge of Leviathan? Because they keep on mentioning that Gamonade sort of answers to someone higher and we thought she was the highest but no it's someone else so that's going to continue on to next season and I'm sure I'm going to make many videos on who is in charge of Leviathan over the break. So I think that's an interesting question to ponder in your mind and let me know do you have any theories in the comments down below. Okay so you have the black and blue suit with Alex, she suits it up and they team up with Megan, there's a few cool scenes with them together and then you have Kara facing off against Lena, Kara loses her shit at Lena and basically puts Lena in her place because of all the terrible things that Lena had done this season to her. Basically Kara at this point just spilled everything that all of us as audience members were thinking towards her. Well at least most of us. So it was a very satisfying moment and you know it was really good. And so then we go over and we got Brainy as he goes into the Leviathan ship and the question is will he survive? So he's got 10 minutes left and you know I think this is the point where you realize that Brainy is a true hero. And, you know, he's been questionable this whole season with all of the different choices he's done in regards to working with Lex since Crisis. But I think everything sort of culminates in this episode, making him a proper hero. And I really enjoyed all the brainy stuff, especially once he got into that Leviathan ship. And so at the same time, we got Gemma, and Gemma has these 2 billion users who are all going into the VR, and they are planning to kill them all, basically, and Supergirl basically decides that she's going to go in and she's going to talk to these, I don't know, one to two billion users and make them all try to sign off, otherwise they're all going to die. And so at the point that Supergirl goes in, Gemma realizes and she sends Andrea after Supergirl, so Akrata is activated as a member or as like an agent of the Vython and she goes to kill Supergirl, but then she is stopped by Lena, which we'll get to in a minute. At the same time, you got William. He got shot by Eve, but he was actually saved by Supergirl. Somehow they realized where he was actually being held by Eve. But so that was after the last episode when he was following Eve. And so at this same time, so it's a lot of things happening at once sort of in this just one big day of events. And I thought they did a really good job putting it all together. So you have also Team Supergirl, which is mainly in this episode, John, Nia, Alex and Magan working together. So Alex is in her new suit, you've got Jean there, Nia and McGunn aiding Alex and so they're fighting those three members of Leviathan including Rama Khan and so this simultaneously happens with everything else and so at this point Supergirl inspires all the users to leave the VR and save them, really great speech, it works. Yes, it may be a bit easy in the sort of scope of things, but I thought it was an effective scene. And, you know, I think it just kind of shows, you know, who Supergirl is. And we always need one of those big speeches to inspire people by Supergirl every season. So this was a good one. And so at this point, you have Lena. She's saving Supergirl from a crosser. Leviathan told her to kill her. And so we're cutting between them and then Supergirl inspiring people and Brainy sacrificing himself to destroy the members of Leviathan by making them not immortal anymore so all of these are acts of a hero so it was very nice how they were sort of interspicing it all together and I thought it really worked so Brainy completed his mission and he takes their immortality Gamine is kind of like electrocuted and she sort of freaks the hell out and she looks like this so this is her true form she was just wearing human skin she's some sort of like alien robot she is horrifying. She looks like the stuff of nightmares. So I'm really looking forward to seeing maybe more of this robot version of her. I'm really intrigued. And at this point, you have Lex showing up because he realized what Brainy has done. So Brainy's there dying. He sacrificed himself. Lex planned that he was probably going to do this, but he didn't realize that Brainy was going to sacrifice himself. And so at this point, Nia dreams of him. 
and that's where we leave those two characters for this episode so that was a cliffhanger on its own the question is is neo gonna save brainy is brainy dead we'll have to continue thinking about that till next season and so it's at this point that lex takes the immortality device that all the leviathan members have been sucked into or at least their energy or their powers and so lex has this device and that leads into the cliffhanger of the episode so lex was supposed to originally be defeated in the finale but, you know, this is going to continue into next season. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm very interested because it seems like Lex is going to become immortal or they're going to test it on some subjects, I guess. So Lex and his mum end the episode with them saying, let's get to work and they're in this new base. I don't know where they are, but they have this device and they're working on something. So I can't wait to see what happens with that. So Eve reunites with her mum, this is just like a short little moment, doesn't really matter that much, but it was kind of cool I guess, seeing that Eve is back on the good side. And also Lena and Kara come together, she accepts Lena's apology, and the two of them are friends again. So I think that was a nice end to the episode and a nice end to the season, because it's been a long time since they were actually good friends and they weren't enemies essentially. So I thought they did a good job this episode with bringing them back together, and so they team up they shake hands and they say there's one bad guy left and so they go to take down Lex to take down Lena's brother and the final thing is you know I mentioned how Gamine turns into this sort of psycho robot and you know she's I guess like an alien as well but she's still alive and she's going to continue into next season and we don't know who Leviathan is who's in charge of it that person is still around and you got her you got Lex still doing this and you got to find out if Brainy is dead or not and what is happening with Nia. So those were the cliffhangers on the episode. I thought they did a really good job ending it and I'm really looking forward to seeing the answer to all this stuff next season. So we'll have to wait a long time but don't go anywhere because we'll continue making Supergirl videos all year round until we get to Supergirl's next episode which will be in about a year's time or so and we'll start seeing some filming around November so no worries. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for watching all the videos over the season. Please be sure to continue watching all the videos over the break and yeah so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.